Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. We're continuing as usual, delivering every good to every tier of residents in the entire game, and just recently, we fully met all the demands of our investors, tourists, scholars, and artisans. So much so that our capital island here of swords is now totally complete for trade routes. Little asterisks above that, you know, bar barring any kind of mail we may have to set up in the future. So this means that we can now kind of move on to the next tier down, which I'd consider to be Artistas, seen as they are sort of tier three in the new world. And of course their lifestyle needs and everything that comes along with that. Now you may be noticing, there is a couple symbols here letting us know that we're short on something. It's caribou meat. Now I've been playing around in between episodes in the Arctic just a little bit. I've decided that we're going to build up a couple more airships for the mail system. So before I get ahead of myself, if you remember in the previous episodes, we delivered some of the more tricky stuff for the scholars, which was the Arctic Reports. Arctic Reports and New World Reports. Now, New World Reports operates the same as Arctic Reports, but it was much easier because we had a lot more people living in the New World and a lot more easy, open terrain to put down post offices and collect it and all that stuff and turn it into the New World Reports. The Arctic Reports, a little bit more difficult, right? Because we'd explained it before that the... And I don't want to go on complaining about the mail system, but it just doesn't seem like it was really built to be used properly or something. I don't know. Anyway, we have a post office here. And that's a local post office generating a lot of local mail up until we hit that storage cap of 210. Now, you remember that the lady we have in here, the Arctic Science Reporter, is generating Arctic reports for us every three cycles of a post office building. Now, the post office radius is bigger than a trade union, so you'll never be able to fit more than one really in there unless you try to do some clipping on the edges of it. But we don't need to bother with that. It's okay. Actually, that wouldn't actually work anyway, I don't think, because it's the other way around. This radius is smaller, so I don't think it would really work. Anyways, the problem here is we're not producing enough Arctic reports because local mail is filling up. So when local mail hits its full storage, suddenly this is winding down, which means we're not getting the complete cycles to generate the Arctic report. So I actually am, or would be, making enough Arctic reports should this building just continuously shuffle and keep going and keep producing things. But the only way to get rid of mail, it's not like I can do what I've done before, which is just get a ship and offload this stuff, sell it at a local NPC or something. You have to actually get an airship to go pick it up and do something with it, you know, frequently. Uh, it, it could, you can't actually even drop it overboard. You just have to bring it somewhere and it'll get destroyed, basically. <laughs> so we have to constantly, like, take away the mail from this area if we want to generate our New World reports. Long story short, that's why I'm looking into old Nate's transmute um, stuff so that we can get um, faster airships with quicker loading speed with less cargo slowdown and i'm building a few new airships right now over in the new world at puerto bonus um, in fact one of them's just been made so we're making a few of these these ones seem pretty good right it's the i don't even know how to pronounce that but let's just call it the duncan because it kind of looks like the word duncan so this ship is basically going to have a bonus when traveling on the open sea to 130 percent which is pretty cool so between continents or a sessions it's moving at, you know, an increased 30% speed, or 130%, I guess. Anyway, the thing that the reason that that's kind of good is because it has five cargo slots. It's a nice middle ground. If you go up to all the way up to eight cargo slots, you get that 170% bonus that's at um, the open sea. But I don't think I need eight slots for mail. I think I'll probably need about four, you know, in these different places. Anyway, I'm getting a bit bogged down, but we're making these ships. These seem like the good ones to go with. We can put a couple of items in there to make them a bit faster and everything, and that's the plan. So we've got our first one now. Um, so in the Arctic, in order to get the items made at Old Nate's, I have airships waiting up here in the glaciers, searching the wreckages of various lost expeditions to find some of the scrap. And we found a bit so far. I think I've got like 50 in the bank, but we want quite a few of these items. So we're going to spread out and just get searching. So I'll just do one more pass of this area here at the beginning of the episode. Adjust and then we'll... The Actually, I might need to move over to the right. But yeah, I'll just come over to the right just a little bit with all these. Spread them out a bit and then just keep an eye out for anything we can find on the ground. Anyway, with all that scrap, we're going to make some of the items. Then we'll put them on the new airships. And then we can finally Adjust take away the, the mail from this location and try to just sort out the overseas and regional mail for the Island of Swords. And at least that way we can say we've done Swords completely, right? It has its mail, and that should keep the Arctic reports flowing as well. All right, finding little bits here and there. 
the, the kind of brighter boxes are items, so I don't really need items, but if we have the empty slot for it, I suppose we could go get it. And I'm sure I'll miss stuff all the time here, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I can't select. There we go. That was weird. Just wouldn't let me drag select. I think it was too close to that or something. But com coming up here with a few ships, especially these ones, they're really fast. So this is a great way to just kind of quickly search over this area. And you can even just queue up a few orders and just pay attention to one ship, I suppose, if you wanted to. Yep, there we go, just found some there. We have a flight path. I think I saw some maybe out that way. Ready for action. Found another item. Two item boxes actually. Yeah, I don't know why I bother picking them up, because there's nothing we can really do with them anyway. They're always like the same four or five items. Uh okay. Let's just say that that's it. We've kind of cleared this area now a bit. We'll bring our boys together and we'll bring them down to King Island, uh, King William Island and see how much scrap we have in total. And then I'm just going to make a note of what we need with Old Nate and we'll send a ship up here to grab it. So ultimately what I want to go with is this one, the dedicated airship hoist. So we're going to need some, let me just write this down. So steam motors, steam motor and steel, just regular refined steel, and then we need five arctic gas, it looks like. So I'll as well put down the amount so I remember. So it's gonna be five, 10, and five. And then of course, everything that seems at this level really requires 25 special scrap, or um, lost yeah, expedition scrap. So the next one then is gonna be the Fjord Buster Mark VI propulsion array. And this is gonna require 15 steel. So we can combine that those two together in a way. Uh, 10 cowchuck and 10 fish. I don't know how they're necessarily utilized, I guess, but they are. Anyway, 25 each for the scrap. So let's get a ship together and bring this stuff up here. So we'll go to the New World first. In fact, we have a ship right here. Um, they could at least bring the cowchuck. How thrilling! A renowned personage has arrived. Onward. And then what else do we need? So fish, steel. That can come from the old world. Fish and steel. And steam motors. So do we have an airship down this way? We actually don't. We'll bring this ship around. Oh, it's actually up here at Swords. There might be steel up here, maybe. Let's see. Oh, there is. And fish. Doesn't actually need to be fish up here, but there is. So fish and steel, and I guess steam motors would be the other one, but we'll send a different ship for that. So let's just go to the Arctic, go to King William Island. And then while this stuff is happening in the background, then we can sort out some of the Artista things. Some of the new trade routes. Alright, we'll just speed up time, get these guys to come over. The castaway too. Oh, it keeps doing that. Anyway, um, that should be enough. Okay, let's go. All right, and we're off. So we'll let that continue in the background. Just trying to think if I left anything off my to-do list for today. The Arctic gas is obviously up there already, so it's not really a concern. Although, thinking about it, it might be easier to um, just pick up some Arctic gas ourselves. Because otherwise we're waiting to get it off a glacier or we're waiting to get it off an airship or something. So I'll just actually go up here. There's 970 up here. I'll just grab a bunch and bring it back with me. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let's uh, progress over to the New World. So something I'd noticed is that our traffic is really busy up at Manola. A lot of piers are in here. We have the Harbor Master items in place. So we have Khadija speeding of lo loading speed by 30%. And then we have harbor activity for both of these, but really she's the one I care about. Loading speed is the one I want, and we have that here as well now. So pretty much the same situation. What I'd like to do is upgrade some of these, but I'm actually at my limit. And I noticed at Puerto Banus, these are all upgraded, and they also have Khadija here as well, helping this place. So this is running nicely, but there's not nearly as many trade routes coming to this island anymore. It's kind of being decommissioned in a way, or... um. It's golden age is over, <laughs> effectively. Some people were kind of sad about that. Now, I don't think you can downgrade, can you? No, you can downgrade houses, but you don't think you can downgrade the building. I think we just have to delete it, and maybe we'll get it back. 
Yeah, so just before I go in, yep, we have the materials to put in more of these, so that's fine. All right, we'll leave one that's down here that's advanced just for now. I mean, I don't think I'll need it really, but just why not? Uh, so we're covering one, two, there's four here that actually have not been upgraded. And there we go. So that should significantly speed up loading speed. I think we were at something like 2.7% now, or um, tons per minute, per second. Now we're at 5.2. Yeah, 2.6, and now it's 5.2. So it's a decent, yeah, it's double. So I'm pretty happy with that. Should clear up traffic quite a bit. All right, so we're here looking to pick up some of the cow chuck. Let's just do that. Don't know how much it needs, but let's just take this with us and bring it up to the north. Um, yep, Arctic. I wonder, there's an item, sorry to get distracted, but there's an, a loading item that you can put on an airship who speeds up loading speed, but he slows down movement. It's like a cargo slowdown increase, you know? I wonder would that be cancelled out, because the item that we're getting says negative 100% for loading um, cargo slowdown. I'll think about that. It might all work together. Well, actually, let's just put that on right now, so that when we get up there, we can have a look. So, ships. Do we have the guy? There he is. Yeah, so there we go. So cargo slowdown is plus 30%, but loading speed is increased 55%. So obviously you want that loading speed. So let's get him in there. Send this guy up to the Arctic to King William Island. All right, so everything's in motion. There's lots of pieces moving, but we got steam motors, steel, fish, and caoutchouc all heading towards the Arctic in various different ways. We have the guy that's over here waiting to get the Arctic gas as well. So just give him that. And how much was it? It was five Arctic gas, so 50 is more than enough. Let's go. So obviously you want to make a few of these items because we have a lot of ships on the way. All right, so that should help things a little bit. Now I've improved the caribou situation. At least I think I have. We have enough produced globally, but it just seems like there was an issue in sending it. So I think I've improved that. It might take a while to take effect, but I've also thrown down a new caribou hunting cabin here just to help. And it needed heat, so I had to put another heater down. But we should have plenty of coal. Awesome. I've also got these extra post offices just giving me the storage that I need so that we can store up enough before the ships have to come here and take it away. All right. And have our... There we go. Wait these guys have come back. Kind of hard to see them, actually, but there they are. So throw in all that uh, lost expedition scrap. I keep Ready wanting to say board. special scrap. I I'll just see how much we've got now. So construction material, uh, we've got 118. That's okay. So, I've got an idea actually for one of these ships. We're going to go to Cape Trelawney, create a new route, an airship route, from Crown Farms to the Old World, it's all straight into Swords. And you're going to pick up local mail, local mail, and that'll be it. I'll just hit accept on this just for a sec. Let's have a read. Canned food shortage in Crown Farms. Interesting. Okay. Of course. You know. So that mail route, I want to set up a new category. And we'll call this category Regional Mail. I thought about lump lumping all of them into one category, just called mail, but I think actually sorting out local mail, regional mail, and overseas mail would help a lot. Right, and this is basically Crown Farms to Swords. Now it's an exchange. It's doing regional mail both ways, right? In theory. If we tell it to pick it up, of course. It's only got two slots. It's going to move quite quick, so I'm hoping that this will be fine. If it does, if it isn't, I'll worry about the statistics behind the scenes, but effectively that's what needs to happen. If we have a look at regional mail, we check Crown Farms. The demand is seven per minute. I'm delighted to introduce our new colleague. And the demand is 27 per minute at Swords. So let's have a look at how much local mail they produce each. So the local mail of Swords is obviously huge. 146 over 28, whatever. It's just massive. So there's obviously enough mail here to be taking it to Crown Farms to fully meet the demand of regional. But on the inverse, yeah, there actually is enough here as well. Technically, we're producing 32. So we should be able to take enough mail away. If it's done in a quick enough time, it should arrive anyway and meet the demand of regional. So that'll be the, the entire demand for the island for regional mail met for every category of residents because it's all turned on right now. So 
it'll give us 16 extra investors. So we're at 188,000 population right now. The next milestone is 202,000 for a little bit more influence. I fully think we'll meet that. Now for overseas mail, it's even more. You get 33 investors per household. And of course, similar sort of numbers are true for scholars or whatever else, you know. Just I've also increased this now all the way back up to 5,000. So this is now the max kind of range that we could have on it, giving a 10% population boost to all houses that it touches on. So some of these of artisans are getting a boost up to possible work. 78. These are just 75. They have everything they need. Yep, it's just the mail system for these guys. I guess I am just focusing on mail for this episode, but it was more to be focusing on the artistas. But I just thought we should get some of this stuff up and running in the background. Um, so our big ship is there. Let's just drop that off. Keep the cow chuck on board. We can take on some of that construction scrap. There we go. Then we just have to wait for things like the fish and uh, steam motors and that kind of stuff to come in. Oh, it's here already. Wow. So the only one that's not here is the one with the gas. So fish, um, steel, and then it's just the steam motors. gonna say like do we know where that is no we'll just pull back for a second see if it's almost there uh there it is the castaway too okay we can give it a minute all right we'll hop back down to the new world so as you can see i'm plate spinning lots of things on the go we've upgraded our piers we're basically upgrading airships we're producing new airships in the background um i wanted to also build up that post office because we'll be trading posts from here as well to get the overseas mail going so again Post is, has pretty good coverage in this place. Could be a little bit better. I mean, it could be way more efficient, but that's okay as well. Could you also get in there? Overlapping radius. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Post office out by the river, you know? Or um, a post box, I guess. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. That's good enough for now. Um, it would be nice to put one right there, I guess. Can we maybe move that one? I can teach you how it okay, so now we're making tons of mail here. Obviously, that's going to be good. That's going to help us increase our storage as well by having these post offices. In fact, I just want to build a couple of them. I know it's so ridiculous, but we really need more space in the post offices. And I'll try to make them look somewhat Go part of the world later, families. but we're just going to pause the productivity and it gives us more storage. The reason I want more storage is so that I have to I don't need as many ships coming to and from the airport. There's only one possible, you know, exchange place that you can have. So it gets super busy super fast, especially with bigger places. So we just have to put these down and then basically just turn them off. Which <laughs> is so ridiculous. But it's such a strange inconsistency in this game, the mail system, but there it is. Alright. So that's going to give us a lot of more mail storage. In fact, we could just check now. I ultimately want to go up to about 400 if I can. So it's going to be 370. That's pretty good. We could maybe put one more down. And let it build up in the background. Alright, we can always move these later at some point. But that should be a lot of mail now can be stored so we can move stuff overseas. Alright, so if we're going to be focusing on the Artista, sorry for being so zoomed out all the time lately. I see a lot of potential here. So what do you guys need? They've got, it looks like they've got everything, basically. Because a lot of the stuff we had to make to send it to the old world, which is the great thing about working from the top down. That we've already done most of the things for most tiers. So for lifestyle, well, they need light bulbs, lanterns, champagne, billiard tables, souvenirs. So I know that globally we have all these things already. I'm not sure about the lanterns. I never checked that one. But Greetings. these three, for sure, we've checked <laughs> against the global population. So we should have enough. Happiness-wise, they just need beer. So, you know, effectively what they need is a trade route to come here and sort them out. So what I'm going to do is just break off another piece of paper, as I like to do, and check the rates of some of these things. So I'm just going to write them down because I often forget. So we'll just type, or type, write down beer. All right. Uh, I'll just write bulb. Billiards, billiard tables, I think we have loads. And champagne. Okay. 
So now, we'll hop in. They're the only artistas that exist on this island, so we don't have to worry about sending it elsewhere just yet. Although the beer one, I guess, is happiness. So maybe, for, first off, we'll look at the rates concerning just the lifestyle goods. So we'll look at bulbs. So it's four. Four tons per minute. The next one over then would be souvenirs. That's also four. Uh, billiard tables. Two. And champagne. Four. That's interesting. Alright, with four, four, and four, it means we can put bulbs, souvenirs, and champagne all on the same ship. In slots of two each. And then maybe we'll have a separate one doing billiards and anything else that's very small amounts that we need. So let's just set up one for now. Trade route. Old world. Lusk to the new world. Straight into Manola. We'll say that this is new world to old world. So it's an import lifestyle. Okay. So now we go bulbs. And because this is a hub island, it should have everything. That's the idea. Making life much easier. Ah, doesn't have any souvenirs. That seems to constantly be low, and I just do not understand why, because we do have enough. We should have enough globally, but... You got yourself. It is the way <laughs> that it's never enough, I guess. Billiard tables are out as well. That's a concern, actually. I can look into this and see why, it's, why that is happening. Uh, yep. Yeah. Sweet Harmony, sure thing. Alright, that's not a good sign, right? We've got two issues straight off the bat. So we'll head down to Lusk and see what's going on. So billiard tables. It's fire station. You're out of felt. Got plenty of everything else. Okay, felt. Let's look at trade routes first and see... Does it arrive here? New world. Delivery of felt. It just says new world. Oh, so it's we don't even send it to the old world. That's the problem. So let's just see if we have enough globally. Uh, we're supposed to be producing 42 and consuming 37. Made in Guadalmina and Manola. Guadalmina is paused because it's just full. Okay. But we have a ship... It's going around picking it up from all these places. So it's actually... Let's see what it's doing. It's going to Manola. Why is it picking up in Manola? I don't know. Oh, because felt is a lifestyle. That's why. So it's also delivering it just to make sure that everyone has it. Picking it up at Guadalmina. That's the only thing we just looked at. It's been dropped at Puerto Benus. Dropped at Manola. And if anything's left, we'll just pick everything back up and send it all around again. Okay. Weird design. But fair enough. I feel like this ship should have an item on it to make, maybe make things move around faster. Because the time it takes to do a full loop might not be enough for that island that's producing quite a lot. But we'll leave as is and just set up a new route to deliver that felt. Export it, I suppose, out of Manola back to the old world. Because no one's doing that. And that's why billiard tables have stopped. Good to be able to find the issue, though, relatively quick. Um, yeah, so it's, I was just thinking of something, new world to old world. I noticed that it's not very... No, it's fine. <laughs> Never mind. I just want to make sure I'm not throwing it overboard, because I'm surprised we don't have more. But we don't, so I'll have to think about why that is. It seems like, yeah, maybe it just does need that second ship on there. If it's going to do a full loop like that. Anyway, so um, this is going to be export felt, that's all. Picking up felt, sending it out. You almost want to tell it to not leave until it's full, but obviously the port is way too busy to be doing that. Uh, so we'll just get any ship that's here in the New World. Yep, that would make sense, actually, one of these. Alright. The other thing we're going to do with it is just get the one that's going around in circles and just add another ship to it and just see how that all pans out in the end. In fact, do we have um, a ship that's here? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's try that. So two ships are on that route now, moving things a bit more frequently. Hopefully this island will stop being super full because of that. Because it is supposed to be picking up from this island, and yet it's still full. So obviously the route that... There it is, just there. The time it's taking to go around with it is obviously taking too long. Alright, nice. Anyway, back to the Arctic. <laughs> Hope people can follow along as we're hopping around like crazy. 
Uh, that's what we need to send up here. Too far away. Just throw the gas up there, man. There we go. Now, I don't know how this is going to handle itself. Make crafting an item when it's full up like this. So we'll just bring another ship with us just for the sec, for the moment. In case we need to transfer something. All right, we're going to visit old Nate. Make my ship faster, Nate. I want to go as fast as that little guy. Now, interestingly, we can actually check here. The max sail speed is 30.8. I just wrote it down for fun. So let's go, transmute. So give me the dedicated airship hoist. Cargo slow down negative 100%. So I can't transmute. Oh my god. I forgot to bring the other ship over. Here we go. Can make the other item though, right? Yeah. Alright, so that's just automatically put on the ship. All good. Can make another one, can't we? Yeah, so what we don't need is gas, so let's just throw the gas over to the other ship for a second. Alright, good. Now what we can do is get rid of the fish and the cow chuck. It seems like I'll only be really be able to make two of these things. We'll pass over the steam motors. Now we can make the hoist. If we get ourselves the gas, and we need more of the stuff. So there's the gas. You go back and forth with the stuff, the construction material. And we can make two of these. Quite arduous. I might do more of this off screen. Bringing all these things together here. Ship is on the way. Once he comes out here with the lost expedition scrap. Just transfer that over as well. There you go. You can have this. Dedicated airship hoist. Alright, simple as that. I'm gonna throw this stuff back in. In fact, we can actually pick that up. Why waste anything if we're here anyway? Alright, we got everything. So this is the ship that I wanted to have all this stuff on, which is great. If there's another ship I'm now in to introduce the new world, colleague. have we made one yet? Yep, there's one right here. Send this up to the Arctic, put those extra items on it as well, and then we'll start setting them off to do overseas mail, I think. Ready to fly. All right, so transfer away these items, keep them here, use them in future, I'm sure. And we'll pop that item in here as well for the other ship to go get later. All right, we'll do the same with this. Airborne and ready to go. Okay, so now our speed, it was 30.8. It's now 44.7. That being said, I did have a pretty much a full ship, right? So if we just load it up on whatever, let's just see what our speed is now. Oh, it still says 44.7. Is that true because I have the cargo slowdown negative 100 twice over? So I think it negates this guy, right? His cargo slowdown is plus 30%. This is negative 100, and this is negative 100. Loading speed increased 50, loading speed increased 55, so we have 105 loading speed. And then movement speed, 15%. No one else is affecting movement speed. Actually, here is 5%, so 20% extra moving movement speed, no cargo slowdown. That's what we're dealing with, with all these items. So that's pretty good, pretty happy with that. Should be able to do mail nice and fast. So let's set up a new mail route. Old world, we're gonna select, sorry, new world. We're gonna select Manola. So Manola to the old world swords and just load up as much of this as we can. That's why we increase the storage capacity on the island and then vice versa. We'll set this up to go back. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we'll put our new airship on it that has all its speed buffs, the mackerel. All right. And we'll put this into a new category called overseas mail. Now, to do this really properly, you're supposed to kind of look at the rates, the time it takes to go between islands, and then adjust them accordingly. You kind of have to go between islands if you want to know the time first, so I'm happy just to set it up like default like this, and then if we need to squeeze more mail out of Manola or something, or we want to take less, then we can do that, you know, in future. So you kind of have to start it this way if you want to 
know this time that's going to be involved if you want, really want to get granular with it. Uh, so we'll just call this overseas. You know what? I'm going to say mail overseas. And then we'll rename this I one to mail regional. And that way, at least they're together in the drop downs. There we go. All right, so we've got mail overseas and mail regional. We'll see how that ship's doing now. All right, our ship is off. And this is great because it goes faster between regions too. 130%, right? So that should be a nice one to move between the sessions, as it were. All right, back we go. So I've set up those felt roots. Hopefully we're going to see the fruits of our labor with that soon. The We have seen the mail building up already, so that's good. We could check on the regional route that we set up between Crown Farms and Swords. So if we head back to Swords really quickly, here we are. We're up to 193,000 now, so I'm assuming this has taken effect. Ah, this really is there it is. It's it's slowly highlight. going up. It might have just got its first delivery, I hope. I hope it hasn't. It's, it's not its second and we're actually low. But it's got 90. Is this the ship that did it? Crown Farms to Swords. There it is. It actually just did it now. And the problem with this is, I've noticed this as well before, they take such a long time loading and unloading because he doesn't have any item. Maybe there's an item here? There might be one of those loaders. Yeah, there he is. So the loading speed will increase, but the cargo slowdown is a big increase, 30%. But the ship is pretty fast, so I don't know. But it doesn't go that fast between sessions, actually. It's like negative. I think it's 80% speed, so... Maybe it all balances out, you know? It's like, okay, the loading and unloading is faster, but you're going slower now. And you'll go slow, even slower between sessions. So I suppose I'm talking myself into realizing that this ship is probably not meant to go between sessions, right? It's probably meant to really just be a quick one back and forth between islands doing regional stuff rather than what it's doing right now, which is technically regional, but it's going overseas to do it because it's the same continent, so it counts as regional. So yeah, this is probably going to go down before he gets back. So maybe we do need that bigger ship on it. Well, we've just made a bigger ship. We'll give it the new items and then we'll replace them and see if that helps. Um, speaking of, can we maybe make more? I have no doubt that sending mail out of here to the other places would be fine. But it would always be good to increase storage if we could. If there's any space left. There's space right here. And you'll be collecting from people. Um, what are we missing? Overlapping radius, really. Oh, just slightly. Somewhere there would be good. And then there's nothing up here for these guys. If we ever give them a bit more room or something in the future, we could capture some of them. Because we certainly don't need that many artisans anymore. Yeah, let's just try here then for a bit. I don't even think they need a road, but we'll just give them one anyway. I like the bottle. It's the boss. All right, that's plus 65. I don't think we're really going to get more out of them. This would be a great place for one. Let's put a post box right there. There's a telephone box there. To make way for progress, kind of. <laughs> Alright. A little bit of extra storage and more mail production as well. Eager to see where the ship is now. I think it'll probably be already in transit. Oh no, it's just arriving actually. Oh no, that's not it. It's a different one. Alright, only way to find it then would be Manola to Swords. Click this. Oh, it is actually in transit. Oh yeah, yeah, there it is. The mackerel four. There we go. That's a good amount of mail. 250. 250 should be more than enough, I think, for the first... I mean, it's the first journey, so it doesn't fully count. You have to check it after multiple, because mail gets... We'll have to see how, if we fill up another 250. I think we need something. The, t the trip journey time, I think, between areas is roughly 10, 11 minutes. Obviously, we're just given this items now, so maybe it's even faster than that. But I think if it, if it is 10 or 11 minutes, then we need roughly 230, because I think we need 23, you know, tons per minute. Okay, all right, back over to the New World.
How are we doing now for some of these about adding some highlights? lifestyles? So you got your light bulbs. You're happy with that. No champagne just yet. No billiard tables. But you did manage to snag some souvenirs. The champagne I didn't actually include, did I? Oh, no, I did. It was billiard tables that we haven't delivered yet because that's only two tons per minute. So let's just check that route again. It was called Lifestyle. Hey. Manolo Lifestyle Imports. We actually already have a ship doing this. Well, that's not as relevant anymore. Let's just get rid of it because the rates aren't quite accurate. Yeah, I actually meant to say champagne, not billiard tables. I made a mistake with that because champagne's the one that's four tons per minute. So is souvenirs and so is bulbs. So let's do it that way. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll need a separate ship. I'll put a question mark next to it just to say that, indicate that it can handle more, but... It needs to go from Lusk to the New World. And all it needs at the moment is just going to be one lot of billiard tables. So. How thrilling! A renowned personage has arrived. Let me just save that for a second. It's called Import Lifestyle 01. So we'll call this Import Lifestyle 02? Question mark. Just to leave the question mark to let me know that there is an issue with it. Or it has room for more things. Okay, all right, almost done. <laughs> so much stuff involved with all this. That ship is in the Arctic, it'll take a while to get going, but it'll also take a while to make some, so it's fine. Now, when I kind of take some time to go around the statistics again, the you might, I might find awesome. room for that slot in another ship if we never end up filling it, you know? So, it's all good. But we're already getting, get, uh, getting them stuff, giving them stuff, no big deal. And we should be just about to deliver our overseas mail now for the first time. Let's see. Oh, it's done it. It's delivered it. How thrilling. A renowned yeah, the numbers are flying arrived. up. There we go. All right. Overseas mail is here, but obviously regional mail is not. So what we need to do with that is to get our other one up here. He's arrived now. Give him the items. There you go. And uh, I don't have the loader with me, but you can get going to Cape Trelawney anyway, I would say. And then I think what we can do is we've got a, a bunch of loaders up here. And we could just ship them back over to Crown Farms and we'll pick them up there. I know I'm being a bit weird with this, <laughs> the way I'm doing it, but it's fine. We'll meet the person here and we'll start the route from here. That's just kind of what I wanted to do. Alright, so we're on the way out here. Now, another thing I want to do, which is while we're waiting around for things. Just delete some old redundant industry. Just recognize that certain space can now be cleared. So why is this not turned on? It's because I just didn't need it. We do make 32 per minute, allegedly. What's the production over time like? It is up and down. So we are out of something. Something is, a mis something is missing because it's doing jumps. So if we get rid of, just to clear up the UI a bit, Right, we can see big jumps. So, is it cotton? Cotton looks okay. Camphor. Glass? It's kind of hard to tell. I want to look after everyone. It looks like it's cotton. Maybe even the camphor. Camphor is quite low too. Uh, let me just check cotton globally. Oh yeah, there's your issue. We're not making it for some reason somewhere. It's stalled in Manola. Must be full in Manola, not getting taken away quickly enough. Yeah. I'm delighted to introduce our new colleague. All right, cotton export from Manola. Two ships doing it, dropping it to Lusk. Clearly not doing it quickly enough though, if they can't, uh, if the place is just totally full. And what about, how are we doing it? There's 3,700, though, in Lusk. So that actually makes me think that we're not taking it out of Lusk quick enough. So let's see. Uh, no, you can save the changes. Because I just renamed it, didn't I? Cape to the Old World importing cotton. Just one ship doing it. And it's just leaving the map now. But this place is full, still. So yeah, obviously, this needs another one, I would say. Okay. 
Okay. And then the other, ugh, the other one was Cam4. Can't speak properly today. I, I genuinely feel like it's the heat. If I sound a little, like, less interested or something, I'm actually, like, loving the game, but it's hot. It's very hot where I am. So just so you know, <laughs> I can sometimes sound a bit boring or dull. I mean, I sound like that in the best of times. But probably I'm noticing myself sound like that. So apologies if I come across that way. Mail can also kind of do that to you. Um, new world to old world. Exporting camphor wax. Cape to the old world. Well, I see an inconsistency here. There's two ships trying to take it away. And there's one ship bringing it in. That doesn't make any sense. They'd never be able to meet that demand then. And then some of it's been taken up to swords as well. They should almost be the other way around. So let's just stick another ship on this while we have it here. And see how we go with that. Alright. We've just... Oh my god. We've breached 200,000. Blitzed past it. And made two... We're at 210,000. Population 211. That's because regional mail has just reached its destination as well. We gained ourselves an extra 15 influence from that. Our loader obviously guys here. Alright, so that's our mail. There's our regional mail. We expect that to fall down, but I do not expect the overseas mail to fall. I'm hoping that we can keep that one steady. Looks like Arctic Reports is on the edge. Am I taking... Oh yeah, I forgot to do this. The whole point of even starting with mail. In the Arctic, we're going to set up a new mail route, but this one's going to be a local route. So again, new category. And it's going to go from King William Island to Fortitude 3. Did I never name that? I guess not. Oh, sorry. It is Hopefell. Yeah, that's the name of the um, ship. And then just Stando Spring. So, again, load your local mail here. We just need to empty it. But obviously, you might as well drop it where, you, where people make use of it. So, again, when you get to Hopefell, that's cool. Just load again. Why not? And then Stando Spring, load again. And we'll just put one of these little baby ships on it. The Nifty Null. Mole. New category. And we'll just call this, uh... Well, just local mail, really. I mean, that's really all it is. Oh, it's Arctic mail. Alright. Um, so this new one needs its own... Category. Did I not give it a category? Oh, you gave it a new one, but it has to be named. So it's usually at the bottom. New group. Rename. Mail. Local. Let's follow the ship for a bit. So it's just over its destination now. Or it's waiting for a ship to clear. Skies are clear. I don't think it needs the loading speed thing, but maybe. Oh my god, we just hit another milestone. Yes! Dude, two miles. That must be the quickest I've ever hit two population milestones. <laughs> That's the good thing about mail, I guess it gives you a lot. I mean, the demand is high, right? So you get a lot out of it if you do manage to do it. All right, so there we go. We've just emptied out mail for the first time, which means this building can now start to ramp up and stay ramped up, <laughs> providing us more Arctic reports. So should balance out that way. And also this gets deleted. It doesn't stay on the ship as it moves around to its different islands. So you're always emptying it out. Alright, cool. We'll revisit that in just a moment. There's our ship again. It's just after dropping in another batch as well. So if we could just check the post office. Yeah, 320. It looks like it's gaining then. I don't think it ran out. Regional mail will have to be sorted though. To do that, we sent our ship over this way, didn't we? It's here now. Skies are clear. Skies are clear. I like how she says that. Um... Okay, so now we do the same with you. Airship route to the old world. Swords. Oh, no, sorry. I don't need a new route. We just have to put it on the route that we already established. Yeah, so instead of the cloud burst, we're going to use our new one here. Dauntless 6. Do the same thing. And you can get off the route now. You're fine. So we'll just continue like this, see how it goes.
There's only one of these on the island. There's lots of little ones. Uh, that's probably okay, though. Not much storage, though, I suppose. So maybe we'll just put down a couple extra just for the storage, and then I'll remove them at some point in the future. Oh, we don't have the aluminum profiles. If it's a lot. All right, so there goes our ship. Where is it, actually? <laughs> Penty dropping packages. How fast did that ship just lose? Did I just... Oh, my God, it went over the mountain. <laughs> I was like, I'm so sure I saw the shadow of it. There it goes. Hell, yeah. Nice. All right, cool. So um, these guys should have also received their regional, and now they'll be getting their overseas mail as well, right? So they've got their regional. Oh, no, they're not getting overseas just yet. May possibly never, to be honest. Maybe we could take mail away from another island in the New World to send it here. Might be enough. Like, Marbella as an island in the New World is probably big enough. This island here. Probably big enough to meet that overseas demand. Or it could possibly even pick up from another one as well. Because you could do that as long as you keep the slots separate. The slot's empty if you hit the same island. Or if you hit um, another island. They just empty automatically because it counts as regional, right? I can't pick up mail here. And then just pick up more mail here, unless they're into different slots on the ship. Um, that's just one of the quirks with the system, right? So yeah, we could probably do that. Don't want to do that now, it's fine. But um, that's something on the cards for the future, for sure. All the while, we're having a look here. Hey, we've got our champagne now. So they still don't have their billiard tables or the lamps, lanterns. But souvenirs, champagne, and light bulbs. Souvenirs might fluctuate, I assume, but... It's okay. <laughs> we do produce enough, and as long as we've sorted out that cotton issue and the camphor issue, it should just keep rolling, because we do make enough of all this stuff. You're still waiting on your felt. Goddamn. How the hell do you not have... 434 on the island. There's thousands on the other island. I know, because it, it's obviously getting distributed around. Let me just have a look as well then. Are we making enough felt? Yeah. Production over time? Eh, it's spotty. It's a little spotty. I think it's actually just spotty because the island was filling up. That makes it. So it would stop, right? Guadalmina. But now we're making sure that that doesn't happen. Because we put another ship on. So I, I'm hoping that it doesn't reach 650. It's at 506, 507, 508. Yeah, it's going fast. Hi. And what's the traffic like up here? Are many people waiting? Uh, a lot of... No, not so many people. I don't see anyone waiting, actually, so that's good. Our improvements to the um, upgrades of the piers seem to have paid off. We're at 220,000 now. What's the next milestone? 234. Wow. Did that jump a third thing? I don't know. Probably not. That's pretty crazy, though. Holy crap, 504,000. We've never, I've never seen that before. We've breached 500k income. And 200,000. Just scaled massively. Should have prized it from your cold, dead hands. Uh, did you guys get your caribou meat? You didn't. You do. You have it. You've just got your first batch now. So it's just going to fetch it right now. Okay, well, hopefully that is solved going forward. Should hopefully just load more and more over time, I hope. Sweetest fluorescent fairy. Sugar Arctic sweet reports. <laughs> Regional mail is filling again. Did our ship just arrive with that? Regional mail Regional mail at a hundred. Overseas at 180. Arctic at 30. Let's go to the Arctic. So you guys should now have regional mail, right? Yeah, yeah. You got your regional mail. It's gaining. Each of these islands should have it now. 58. And 57. Yeah, I think, I think we did it. <laughs> 512 technicians. Not bad. Now you could get rid of a lot of these people. Here's the catch-22, though. You make more mail based on having more people. The mail is after the post, right, being delivered, has given me a lot of extra technicians. It's like, oh, that's great. 
thank you, you know? But then if I start deleting them to even out the workforce, because obviously you want to spare as many people, like, you know, you don't want an excess workforce really at all in the Arctic, I would say, uh, then we'll make less mail. <laughs> so it's kind of a vicious cycle, kind of. I mean, as long as you check the rates before you gave them mail and you're working off of that, you can never go under that, I suppose. So maybe it'd be okay. But yeah, six extra technicians per per delivery. I'll let this run for a while before I start cutting away any houses. Um, and also, we have to give them dynamite and rum. We gave them a temporary dynamite route a while ago. Here. That just takes dynamite and delivers it up to King William Island. So it actually doesn't get distributed at all yet. We're going to have a lifestyle airship that does that. So it's going to distribute dynamite rum. And then I guess these two are already on route, are they? Mezcal in the Arctic. New world to the Arctic. New world lifestyle imports. Oh, so an airship just takes this and delivers it to these islands and goes. That's good. Good job, Darren. Rum, though. You're not do doing that, no? No one has any? Manola doesn't have any rum. Are you having any a laugh? <laughs> Are you joking? I thought we make, like, thousands. All right, let's check the global roots of rum. It never ends, does it? It's all part of the fun, though. Uh, yeah, I think we make enough, but... A lot of our rum does come from Crown Farms. That could be why. In fact, that almost certainly is why. Because I don't think I ever delivered that rum from Crown Farms up here. It's not a global network. And it's made as a byproduct as well. Hmm, interesting. Face. Well, we could maybe sort that out. If we delivered a batch of rum every now and then up to the New World... Then that Arctic route would be satisfied. It's a messy way of doing it, but... It's either that, or you just have a, an airship go straight from here. What else do they need? Dynamite. Do we make dynamite here? I'm delighted to introduce our new colleague. Oh, I know. Crown Farms delivers its rum to Lusk. This island. This island makes the dynamite. So we could have a separate airship route that's similar to this one. That takes the rum, the dynamite, and whatever else. Are we missing one other thing? I don't know why I'm doing Arctic stuff now, but here I am. <laughs> it's just those two. So let's do it. Let's just fucking do it. <laughs> um, yeah, we just set up a new ship actually to do this. So I'll tell you what, mate. Forget it. You get off that route. We're going to put the sweet harmony on this one, and we're going to get rid of these. And just copy that over it. So we'll say it's Mezcal. And this will be Motors. Okay. So that's just a simplification of this route. And then we'll basically make that one again. From Lusk, picking up rum and picking up dynamite. Now, what this doesn't address is feeding technicians on. Oh, we don't have technicians on any other island, actually, so that's okay. So there you go. All right, and we'll do that with the other ship we built at the beginning of the game, the Terror. Oh, it's in the new... Yeah, yeah. I'll give it a better name in the future, but that should sort that out. So that should be everything for the technicians, at least. This place is super busy now. Look at this. Got ships waiting. Three ships, four, five, six, seven ships waiting. Yikes. There was actually room for seven more piers. I suppose if you didn't have the shipbuilding in there or something, you could maybe squeeze some more in here, but... Oh, you can put one right there. That might be worth doing. And another one right there. Yeah, I mean, it kind of ruins some of the aesthetic we had for this place, but I think I need to do it. 
two extra periods opening up on the sides. That one doesn't look too bad, actually, if we just extend the... this thing out. Oh, why not? <laughs> Can we put a road in there or something? No, it's just like a piece of... you can't do that terrain. <laughs> That's a shame. I wonder, could we make a bridge? Let's see. get rid of that it bends isn't it and then it look yeah it looks weird that doesn't look that bad having that there I guess um, how nice is that little area for people to stand couples to look out wistfully into the ocean <laughs> something I don't know uh, right anyways then we can also do this, just to make this look like it makes some sense. That doesn't need to connect, because it can't. What about... The lamppost would be a good one to put down there, I think, if we have any. Did I, I not use the lamppost? It looks like I didn't. Oh man, this is going to be a tough one to find. So it's going to probably be in the beautification menu. It's going to be in cosmetics... Docklands? Season, sorry. Docklands, there we go. And the lamppost. So we can't go out any further. Hmm. You know what, I kind of preferred it with the... Yeah, whatever that you want to call that, it's just the wood. <laughs> Looks just a bit better that way. So I might just have to leave it as is. It's the best I can kind of do. Ultimately, we just needed this for its, um... Oh, yeah. That might look a bit better, too. Yeah, I think so. It looks better as a corner. All right. And then for this one, we could just do something kind of similar. Just make it a corner shape, and then it's probably all it needs. How far forward can you go? Please don't leave your crate unattended, sir. It's such a shame I can't build like a little bridge across this thing. It'd look kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Let's just make it, uh, give it some more extra dock space. Nope, not that. I like it when we get those things in there. And we'll make it a corner. Alright, two extra pier- oh my god. Holy crap. I'm sure it'll thin out soon. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, we also need to put items then on these ships just to make them go faster because a lot of them just have nothing on them. So they need these loading speeds and, yeah, basically, exporter of goods is what we need. If we have a look at where we can get her from, because I don't think I can really research any more of her. So item source, exporter of goods. So a trader, Eli Bleakworth. So I'll probably just keep a ship out there and just keep rotating until we get as many of her as possible. All right, none of them have anything on them. Cool. And then that'll just speed up loading. I mean, 45% loading speed. If we put that on every ship here, I think we'll obviously smoothen this out. This is pretty bad. But fun to see. Um, 224 Thowie. Not bad. How's that mail system going then? Nice. We're catching the Arctic reports. have run out yet again. Is 
This needs to be on its own male category, probably. But it is a multi-regional one. It does both. 31 Arctic reports coming in. 31 coming in hot. So it's still just collecting from the Arctic at the moment. Skies are clear. Yeah, you're all going to need slots, man. That's what we have to do. So, unfortunately, I have to go through in my own time, crafting as many of these as possible. Loading speed 50%, cargo slowdown, you know, just moving these ships faster in and out of these um, different docks because they are clearly taking too long for their own good. But we're up to picking up a lot, 70, 70. That's a good amount. But the time is taking longer now because more and more ships are using these things. Oh, and this ship is done, actually, so that's good. Give these guys their mez call and, and whatever. Look at this, 1,100 technicians. We can basically get rid of half of this colony now. They've done their job. The you guys go back up here. We're going to have to fetch lots more expedition scrap. Wow, you can't even drop it anywhere else. Okay. Nice. This is a pretty fun episode. I think I, I know it was a bit scatterbrained, kind of doing lots of different things all at once, but still pretty happy. Ultimately, the first goal, which was supplying these guys, has largely been paying off. You know, we've given them light bulbs, champagne, and souvenirs. They seem to be consistent with it. I do overproduce this stuff, so it should all work itself out eventually. It's all down to the trade routes. Uh, the billiard tables and the felt was an issue, so... We'll just see if that's been kind of fixed or started yet. No, that still hasn't been delivered yet, so I'll just keep an eye on that myself. That's why we're out of billiard tables. But we have enough of everything else, by far. Um, but once we get that, is that it then for the artistas? That, that would actually... Oh, it's just beer, I think they needed as well. So they haven't set up the trade route yet to deliver beer to this island. So that'll be next. So beer, double check what's going on colleagues. wrong with the billiard table slash felt, and then we look into lanterns. Just really quickly here at the end of this episode. Lantern. Yeah, that's a, that's going to take a while. So we have to go to Tabarim, build up the industry for lanterns, candles, etc. Put more stress on glass, perhaps, as well, having to do that. But, oh well. All right, that's going to have to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.